This tutorial is going to cover how to add additional tools and additional palettes in Tabs MST. To begin with, first scroll to the top of your screen to the File menu, go to Tools, and select Standard. You'll notice that when you select the Standard Tool preset, a number of additional palettes appear in your area. You now have additional views, as well as a different feature different features to zoom and to manip manipulate your objects in the 3D area, as well as further shapes that are added to your shape palette. At the bottom, you also now have a couple of features that allow you to clone shapes. I'm going to go over a few of the new tools just so that you see all the different features that are added. Then we'll return to the tool preset to look at the advanced tools. The first area that I want to point to is the different views. Right now we are set at the left corner view. Clicking on the button immediately to the right, you'll see that it switches to a front view. The next one is a right view. The next one is the top view. And the final one is what is called the go in view. You'll notice that it change, changes not only the perspective but also the color. I'm going to switch back to the left corner view. I'm going to travel over and click on the rotate view button. This one doesn't automatically change the 3D area but what it does allow you to do is if you click and hold within the 3D area you can move around your shape. The buttons to the right of the rotate view button allow you to if you click on the hand, grab, pull, manipulate. The next two buttons allow you to zoom in. And that covers pretty much most of the basic features right up here. Now, in addition, when you added the st standard tool collection, you also see a few more shapes that are available, as well as some um, additional shapes that are regular or irregular. If you click on one of these that has a drop down list, you'll notice that if you click on the arrow that's pointing down, a number of additional shapes that you can choose. This is the same drop down list that appears for all of the different buttons in this palette. But notice that you have to click on the drop down arrow. Just clicking on the shape itself won't do anything. Below at the bottom, let me switch back to my pointer up here at the very top. I'm going to select the shape. You now also have additional tools that allow you to duplicate shapes. You'll notice that when I click on that, a new shape net appears over here as well as a second shape in my 3D area that I can then move around. If I select a shape again and click the button to the right, I can clone a shape, which is another way of adding a shape. Those are the principal, area, principal shapes, palettes, and additional tools that are in the standard tool collection. If you go back up to the top and click on Tools and click on Advanced, you'll see that you add even more shapes to your shape palette, as well as additional tools up here, including new rotate buttons as well as additional buttons throughout all of the different palettes. Choose a, a specific tool preset. My preference is tools standard but feel free to play around with tools advanced as well as tools custom which allows you to custom customize your view. That ends this tutorial.